12 Worst Places to Be Born a Girl. Number 12, Iraq. Since the U.S. invasion of troops back in 2003, Iraq has been in an ongoing conflict for almost 15 years. Crimes are a growing threat in the country, and Iraqi women face a harder battle than men. Women must comply with an enforced dress code that conceals their body and hair, only exposing their eyes. Many women cannot get a passport without the permission of a male family member. They can't even leave the house without being accompanied by a man. There are significant gender divergence when it comes to education and work. Men are mainly the ones working while women are subjected to stay home. According to Minority Rights Group International, it is believed that as many as 10,000 girls and women are held for ransom and sold into labor. Number 11. India. Domestic brutality in India is so widespread that the National Crime Records Bureau discovered that an offense against a woman is committed every three minutes on average. Forcible assault against women are ranked high and occurs every 29 minutes. A dowry death happens every 77 minutes with at least one case of a violent act committed by the woman's male relative or spouse every nine minutes. Dowry deaths of women are driven by suicide, caused by humiliation and harassment from their suitors in an effort to take ownership of the woman from her family. Females account for 39% of the HIV epidemic in the country. At least 50 million girls were lost in the past decade due to the practice of female infanticide, as boys are preferred, meaning discrimination begins before a girl is even born. It is estimated that around 100 million women are believed to have been trafficked, with 44% of being married before they reach 18 years old, marrying men twice their age. Indian authorities acknowledge these crimes and state they are trying to take bigger steps to protect women in need. Number 10. Guatemala. BBC reports that an estimated 66,000 women are executed across the world, and Guatemala has one of the highest rates of bloodshed against females. Most of the injustice is happening inside their own homes, by their brothers, fathers, and husbands, all as a result of the country's dark past. The country has the third highest femicide rate on earth, and brute force is seen as a way to control women. The stereotype was that females were considered as objects for labor and to serve families. During times of conflict, army men were trained to commit violent acts against against women, and when they returned home, they sought no help. Many organizations, such as the Mirna Mac Foundation, believe this stereotype still exists today, but many Guatemalan women are coming forward to break the silence in hopes to change the country's state of living. Number 9. Saudi Arabia Saudi Arabia is considered one of the most conservative countries on the globe. Their rigid guidelines have created a gender-segregated nation, leaving Saudi women to rely on male guardians heavily. In fact, women aren't allowed to travel alone, and without a male guardian present, they cannot marry and receive an education. They are even forbidden to drive a car, go swimming, participate in sports, and even wear makeup that show their beauty. Separation is also everywhere in Saudi Arabia, including lines at the grocery stores and cafes. These rules are kept in demand in order for society to honor tradition and to show respect for their religion. Social norms also prohibit both genders from sitting together. Women must adhere to a strict dress code, which is legally imposed. They must dress modestly and cover their entire body and hair. In fact, back in 2015, former First Lady Michelle Obama was criticized for not wearing a headscarf when she visited Saudi Arabia. Number 8. Afghanistan. With over 20 years of repression and conflict, Afghan girls and women are still fighting for their voices to be heard. An outstanding number of women remain illiterate, and they are even deterred from pursuing an education. It has the highest maternal mortality rate on Earth, and suicide rates in women have skyrocketed in the last few years, and it is the only country where female suicide rates are higher than men. In fact, the average woman will only live to be 45 years old. A 2008 study conducted by Global Rights discovered that 87% of women have suffered abuse and with no options to escape the situation, they turn to suicide as a way out. They are forced into marriage before they turn 18 years old, and more than half of all girls are wed before they're 16 years old. If a girl refuses to marry her suitor, she is physically abused and can even be executed. Even though it is an accepted tradition that a girl can be bought from her family for money, they are slowly trying to rise against this custom. Number 7. Somalia Somalia has been immersed in conflict for over two decades, and the situation for women in the country doesn't get any easier. According to The Guardian, the country ranked fifth for worst places to be born a woman. The struggle to survive famine, drought, and devastation are only a few things a woman must battle, but giving birth trumps them all. After a lady gives birth, her chances of living drop due to poor aftercare, lack of medical supplies, and poor overall health care. Also, 95% of Somalian girls undergo the clitoridectomy process, and with the custom still widespread, there 
there are no efforts to ban it. Many girls are forced to flee their homes to shelters and with few counseling services available, many women are fearful they will have nowhere to turn to. As difficult as the state of living has become in Somalia, they continue to make slow but sufficient progress. Number six. Democratic Republic of Congo. Back in 2011, it was estimated that around 2 million had faced abuse in their lifetime. In a 2015 World's Women report analyzed by the UN Department of Economic and Social Affairs, more than 60% of women from the ages 15 to 49 years old have witnessed acts of brutality. It is believed that 70% of these women have suffered domestic cruelty from their spouses. In fact, more women than men believe that a husband can be vindicated in beating or hitting his wife. While there are laws to protect women, little action is carried out as as the country is corrupt and even government officials or high officials are carrying out these crimes. The military resorts to threats and oppression as a means to control their people, leaving many women scared to report abuse to the police. Number 5. Yemen in a 2015 World Economic Forum gender gap report, Yemen contains the largest discrepancies in economic involvement and opportunities for both genders. However, Yemeni women still experience discrimination. They cannot marry without the permission of their father or even receive health care without permission. They don't have the same civil rights as men when it comes to child custody or divorce. There is currently no legal age of consent, so girls are arranged to be married before they turn 18 years old. At least 55% of women are illiterate, with almost a 30% difference between their male counterparts. Statutory offenses and destructiveness leave Yemeni women cowering in fear as they are targets for attacks and abuse. Even if others try to protect them, they could be potential victims of honor killings, in which a girl or woman is seen as a disgrace and has injured the honor of her family. Family, even by becoming a victim of the statutory abuse. Number 4. Egypt with a population of at least 45 million people, women make up one half of Egypt. Women are slowly climbing economically and politically, but still face modern day issues. The World Economic Forum 2015 gender gap has listed Egypt as having the largest gaps in the world. Egyptian women are also still trying to cling onto old custom traditions, which include clitoridectomy. It is believed that more than 120 million girls have undergone this process, more than any other country on earth. Although this method was banned back in 2008, the practice remains widely widespread, with 60% of Egyptian women believing this tradition should be continued. Despite both genders having almost equal access to education and health care, women still have minimal political involvement and economic opportunities. Similar to Yemen, the country's laws are partial against women when it comes to custody, divorce, inheritance, and marriage. In fact, there are no laws that prevent domestic brutality or protect women from abuse in their own homes. Number 3. Mali this landlocked country in West Africa has some of the worst gender gaps in health and education access. One of the reasons why is due to the low literacy rate among women. USA Today reports that 25% of women are literate, with elementary enrollment rates of only 64%. It is also the worst across the globe. Women have minimal access to health care, and the country's life expectancy for females is one of the lowest on earth at just 48 years old. Back in 2012, religious extremists took control of northern Mali, and during this time, these groups terrorized women and committed numerous crimes against them. Their cultural and religious beliefs also make it so they are dependent on their male counterparts. Parents will choose their husband and regardless of what profession a woman chooses, they are still seen less than their spouses. But in today's modern generation, many Mali women are trying to break the traditional standards, but they know it will take years until change actually starts to take place. Number 2. Honduras this Central American country is the femicide country in the world and is considered one of the most dangerous countries in the world, too. On average, one woman is executed every 18 hours, and with the impunity rate at 90%, these crimes go unsolved. Many Honduran women struggle to live due to the fear and ferocity they see every day. The lack of prosecution and accountability against criminals make it unbearable to live in safe conditions. In a country where violence is widespread, statutory offenses are commonplace. In fact, there are only three shelters for spoliation survivors throughout the whole country, two of which are also brothels. Most of these crimes are linked to domestic coercion and human and drug trafficking. These felonies are likely committed against women because there are slim repercussions. Number 1. Sudan According to a Rutgers survey report, Sudan is one of the worst countries for women's rights. Their findings conclude that 12.1 million girls have been the victims of clitoridectomy, and any girl can legally wed once they turn 10 years old. They also revealed that a girl's lifetime risk of maternal death is 1 in 31. Reports of armed militia groups target children and women, leaving them in fear. As the conflict in the country continues, many girls are seeking refuge and even travel barefoot just to escape the harsh living conditions of cruelty, hunger, and fighting. The UN refugee 
agency surveys that 86% of refugees are women and children. Since 2013, more than 1.5 million people have left their homes, and it seems like the waves of bloodshed haven't decreased. Despite of all this, there have been some positive changes in gender equality when it comes to the labor market and education. Although progress is slow, many women are hopeful. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.